When I came to Microsoft, I looked at, wow, this was a candy store. We have so much amazing technology. We have great music experiences. We have great gaming experiences. We have great email experiences. And how do you bring that all together for a user in, in a simple, seamless way? I think that really speaks to the power of Windows Phone now. We're saying, we're going to connect all this for you. You don't have to think about it. How do I bring that to our users? It presents you a way to navigate, but also a way to interact with the things that you care about. And that, that's really the, the new fresh start that we're, we're bringing to Windows Phone. It's really stepping back and saying, what do I really want it? And what do, what do our consumers really want? And I think that, that was really the approach. And so they say, hey, if we could do anything, what can we do? Uh, and, and looking at, you know, there's a lot of ideas about, hey, how do you make smartphones smarter? And how do you make, make it, you know, run faster, better graphics? But, you know, in some ways, that's really not what users are looking for. They just want a better experience. And we really said, hey, let's think about that. What do people really want in their lives? And we really key off on those kind of thinking and, and start building kind of what we start saying, you know, our design philosophy of making uh, a connection with our users and bringing those insights to the design and really working with the engineering team to say, hey, what if we could do this? And how would we build this? I think that was a really great opportunity about how Microsoft, because we have this great, amazing technology, and I think bringing some insights with design, we can really harness the potential of creating a whole new phone experience for our users. Windows Phone, what is it about? What makes Windows Phone, Windows Phone? And that selfness, I think, comes from a couple of uh, really key things that we, we thought about. We really thought about the end user as king. You know, what is really important? I think that hopefully you'll see that it's really authentic, that we really talk to real users uh, out there, and, and we spend a lot of time talking to our users, not just to listen to what they do, but also saying, hey, we have this idea, what do you think? Uh, so really driving some of those insights, but also making the design come to life for them and, and listening to how they use it, but also improving the design. I think that process of iterating and refining and building, I think that's a really, really speaks to the craft and care and passion we put into the product so that, that the authentic soulfulness comes through. Hey, we have to take design, not just as a, as a way to make it look appealing, but I think we got to think about making it desirable. It's always that balance. When you do something new, you also have to ground it in something that people can understand. What will our users see first? I think hopefully they'll see themselves in the phone. I think that's a really key part of how we designed it. It's really focused on making this phone your phone. Uh, we, we took the idea of making it personal so that when you look at it, the, the start experience, it's about your content, it's about your people, it's your pictures, it's your music, it's presented way up there. And it's my phone is going to be different than your phone. And I think that's a really key part, that personalized way of navigating the things that you care about, the things that you want to share, the things that you want to uh, listen to. And, and, and really, I think those are the key moments of, the, of what we first present. It's your phone.